Yeah, the despondency is a necessary stage. You know, it's it's when you realize that nothing that you already have been doing is going to work. And and from your understanding of what's possible, it's hopeless. From who you've been being, it's hopeless. Like you realize your powerlessness. You discover a much greater creative power that is not under your control, but mm. comes through your participation in it. Every single scene <laughs> is sending you the message that the problem is a bad guy and the solution is to kill him. Every situation can be solved by violence. <clears throat> Same message, the, the good guys, the bad guys, and salvation for the world comes because the good guys are stronger and bigger and have better weapons and they're tougher and more superpowers and they can destroy the enemy. This is a poison. This idea mm. is a poison. We see it in politics. We see it, you know, the, both sides saying, well, the problem is those horrible people on the other side who lack some basic aspect of humanity. They're, they're some way, some code word for evil, mm -hmm. ignorant, stupid, and a better world will come when we totally defeat those guys. We have war baked into the whole cake of civilization. I mean, it's even in, in physics, in technology, like the world is against us. The origin of the concepts of good and evil actually were in order and chaos, in domesticity and the wild. Good was domestic, evil was the wild. Good was the sheep, evil was the big bad wolf. Good was the king who killed the lions, cut down the forests, drained the wetlands. Like this attitude of conquest is at the core of what we need to overturn if we're going to have a world that's any different in any significant way than the world we have right now. Wow, what I do to the world, I do to myself. We are inseparable and I cannot therefore achieve what I want through dominating, through killing, through destroying. It's a change of heart in which hope lies.